Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Mo Zhaoxiu urged the United States to refrain from smearing China and to stop imposing abusive sanctions on Chinese companies at talks this week in Washington. China's Foreign Ministry said on May 31. Mr. Mo met U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell and Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer on May 30, a day after the U.S. accused Beijing's leadership of supporting Russia's war in Ukraine and said China could face further Western sanctions. We urge the U.S. to stop smearing and exerting pressure on China, stop imposing abusive unilateral sanctions on Chinese enterprises, and play a constructive role in the resolution of the Ukraine crisis. The Chinese Foreign Ministry quoted Mr. Ma as telling Mr. Campbell. Mr. Ma said China-U.S. relations were at a critical stage of stabilizing from deterioration and called the Taiwan issue the most important. Sensitive and explosive issue between Beijing and Washington. If the U.S. really wants peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait, it should abide by the One China Principle and the three joint communiques, and honor its commitment not to support Taiwan independence, Mr. Ma added. State Department Deputy Spokesman Vidon Patel described Mr. Campbell's meeting with Mr. Ma as part of intensive diplomacy to responsibly manage competition in the U.S.-China relationship and said the U.S. expected more such senior-level engagement. Mr. Patel said the U.S., its group of seven partners and other European Union and NATO countries shared the view that China's support for Russia in the Ukraine war not only threatens Ukrainian security, it threatens European security. He declined to provide details of any future sanctions when asked whether those might target Chinese leaders, given Mr. Campbell's comment. The Biden administration has stepped up warnings about China's support for Russia and issued an executive order in December that threatened sanctions on financial institutions, helping Russia skirt Western sanctions. In April, the U.S. imposed sanctions on 20 companies based in China and Hong Kong following repeated warnings from Washington about China's support for Russia's military.